Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the Darth Vader pixel art tutorial. So we're going to jump right in by switching over to the black wall. And let's head back over here to the 13 gray walls that we had going down to the left. See these 13 here that went diagonal? We're going to start all the way from the bottom block of it, so going down to this gray block here. Starting from here, we're just going to move one block over up to the right. So let's move to this one. So we're starting from this block now. Now starting on top of this block, so starting from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on top of it. So that's one, two. Now we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And let's head back up here. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, we're going to be filling in these empty spaces here between the black and the gray wool. So let's fill those empty spaces with the gray wool. And there we go. Once we've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the black wall, and we're going to head back up here to the right, continuing up here. And we're going to be finding these two gray wolves. Now, starting on top of these two gray wolves, we're going to be placing five black wolves going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's five. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. So that's one. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Next, we're going to be placing six blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Once we've done that, we're going to be placing 13 blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 13 blocks. Let's fly over, get rid of that placement block. Let's fly back. And now we're going to be placing two sets of 7 blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So two sets of 7 so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's 2. Let's get rid of the placements. And we're going to head back over here. And now we're going to be switching up to... Let's switch it up to the cyan stained clay. Switching over to the cyan. Starting on the left side of these 7 black wolves. We're going to be adding 6 cyan blocks going across to the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's very simple like this. And now we're going to move back over here. Now starting on top of the left block of the 7 black wool. So starting from there, we're going to be placing 5 blocks going across to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now we're going to be placing 7 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now we're going to be placing 22 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's 22. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's 22 blocks. Let's head back over here to get rid of that placement block, and now let's fly all the way back. And now from here we're going to be placing one block going up to the right, so that's one. And now that we've done that, we're going to be adding 11 blocks going diagonal up to the left. So add 11 diagonal going up to the left, in other words, kind of tracing this black will outline, so that's one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 11 blocks. And it should look like that. 
So now what we're going to be doing next is heading back over here to the left, and we're going to be filling in those two empty spaces we left behind in between the black wool and the cyan. We're going to be filling those with cyan wool, or not wool, but cyan clay. So fill those in with the clay. Now once you've done that, we're going to head back over here to the right, and we're going to be filling in this single empty space that's right here with the cyan clay. Like I mentioned before, uh, th just imagine that there's an invisible barrier, so technically this is already closed, so we don't have to worry about that. We're not going to be adding anything like that, so it should look like this when you're filling it in. Again, remembering that this is, there's the invisible outline right there. We're not going to be adding anything to the right, so let's just fill this in. And it's also important to keep that in mind for future tutorials that you might follow from me. That there's always an invisible barrier. Alright. So when we're done filling it in, it should look like that. Very simple and easy. Alright, now we're gonna, let's say, head back down here. I believe we're going to, let's start from the right. Let's start from all the way down here so we can get most of this stuff done. Working our way from the right to the left. So for this next part, we're going to be switching over to the placement block because we need to get to a certain area. We're going to head all the way over here to the right, and we're going to find this one black wool. Starting underneath the one black wool, we're going to be placing two placement blocks going down. So that's one, two. So we have this. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool, and with the gray wool starting underneath the placement block, we're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal down to the left, so six diagonal. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And of course it's going down to the left, because we can't go to the right anymore because of the invisible barrier. Alright. Outline, I should say. Okay, so let's get rid of the placement blocks, so that it should look like that. Now we're going to switch over to the black wool. Starting underneath this gray wool here, we're going to be placing three black wools going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the black wool. So let's fill this in with black. And it should look like that. So now what we're going to do is, let's start from down here. Start from this gray wall. Starting from this block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So let's switch some blocks around. Okay, that's one, two. And now starting from the right block of these two, so from that block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. Now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool and filling in this empty space here with the gray. So fill that in. Now let's switch back over to the black wool. Let's head back over here to these two black wools we had going across to the left. This time starting from the left block here, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now before we continue on with this area, let's switch back over to the placement block and let's head back over here to the right. Going into this empty, or it was an empty space, going back to this area where we filled it in with the black wall. We're going to start all the way over here to the far right underneath this black wall. And we're going to be placing four placement blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four. Now we're going to be switching over to the black wool, starting underneath the four placement blocks. We're going to be putting two blocks going down, so that's one, two. Now let's get rid of the placements. Let's head back down here. And we're going to be placing three sets of threes going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And one, two, three, three. So that's a total of three sets of threes. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. Let's head back down. And we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing six blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Once you've done that, we're going to be placing seven blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now to close this all off, we're going to be placing ten blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the tenth block should be making contact with the ground. So let's fly back up and get rid of that placement block. And now we're going to switch it up. We're going to be switching over to the cyan stained clay. And with the cyan stained clay, we're going to fly all the way back up here where we started when we place these first two blocks here. Starting underneath the two black walls, we're going to be placing three sets of threes going down on the left with the cyan stained clay. So that's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three. And now we're going to be placing five blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now place seven blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to be placing 15 blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And the fifteen block should be making contact with the ground. And once we've done that, we're going to be filling in the empty spaces in between the black wool and the cyan stained clay. We're going to be filling those in with the cyan clay. So let's fill those empty spaces that we left behind. There we go. And then once you've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the black wool, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the black wool. Again, remember there's an invisible outline here, the invisible barrier, so this is a closed area now. So let's go ahead and fill this empty space with the black wool. And remember guys, also, if it feels like it's going a little too fast for you, because I did up the speed uh, compared to the part one of the Darth Vader tutorial. If you feel like it's going a little too fast for you, make sure to hit that pause button. You don't want to be left behind. And it's definitely better than saying, oh my god, you're going too fast, slow down, blah blah blah. Because you leaving that comment isn't going to magically make the video slow down. Alright, so when we're done, it should look like this. Now, let's see. We're going to head back up here. Going back to the three black wolves we had going across from this area, up here, back again. Starting from the left block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So, whoops, let me switch some blocks around. So, that's one, two. Again, should look like this. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now, starting from this one block, we're going to be placing ten sets of twos going down on the left. That's ten. Ten twos. Ten sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. One, two, six. 127, 128, 129, 1210. So that's 10 sets of twos. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. And now let's make our way back down here. And now from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And I'll place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And I'll place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing two sets of threes going down on the left. 
So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three. That's two. Let's get rid of the placements. Add back down here. And now to close it off, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one and two. And it should be making contact with the ground like this. Two blocks. Now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And with gray wool, we're going to start right down here. Uh, starting from the bottom block on the right side of these two black wools that we just placed, we're just going to be putting one gray wool next to it. So that's one. So it looks like this. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. Let's head back up here. And we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And from here, we're going to be placing 10 sets of twos going up on the right. That's 10 sets of twos. So that's 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 6, 1, 2, 7, 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 9, and 1, 2, 10. Now let's get rid of all of the placement blocks. And let's head all the way back up here. And now from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now place two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now to finally close this off, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Now I'm going to be flying back a bit so you can see what we've done so far. And of course, you can go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just compare, making sure it looks exactly like this. So from here, we're going to be switching over to the black wall now. With the black wall, we're going to be filling in all of the small empty spaces that we left behind in between the black wool and the gray wool. Let's fill in all of those little tiny spaces with the black wool. And for those of you who are wondering why I left these empty spaces, it's only simply to, just to get rid of the fact that I would have to stress the word linked. Link blocks, link seven, link three, link, 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 link. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's perfectly fine. Some of the subscribers already, or some of the old time subscribers already know what uh, I'm talking about when it comes to me trying to avoid the word linked, at least stressing it out, because I don't want to confuse you guys. It's a lot easier to do this. All right, don't worry about it if you don't understand. All right, let's fly back up here. And what we're going to do up here is... We're going to panic. All right, let's switch to the... Let's make this our main block for now. Let's switch back to the black wall. All right, let's fly back up here. We're going to be finding, yeah, finding these eight black walls that we have going across here. So find these eight black walls. We're going to start from the right block of these eight. So starting from this block here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two. Now starting from the left block of these two uh, blocks here, starting from this block underneath it, we're going to be placing a linked five blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's a linked five. So that's one two, three, four, five. And it should look like this. Again, we don't need placement blocks when it comes to the linked blocks. Making sure it looks like that. 
And now, let's see, we're going to start from the right block of the linked five black holes. So starting from here, we're going to move one block over to the left. So from here, let's just move one over to the left. And now we're at this block. We're going to start underneath it. Now starting underneath it, so starting from there, we're going to be placing 11 sets of twos going down on the left. That's 11 sets of twos down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three. 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 6, 1, 2, 7, 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 9, 1, 2, 10, 1, 2, 11. That's 11 blocks. And of course, you can always double check by counting the number of placement blocks that you got rid of. Uh, in this case, it should only be 10 placement blocks since we started from there. But yes, this is 11 sets of twos with only the use of 10 placement blocks in that case. In other cases, it should the number of placement blocks should be matched up with the number of blocks we placed. Okay, anyways, uh, now that we've got that rid of those placement blocks, let's head back down here, and we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. Let's get rid of that. Let's walk back down. And we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going down on the left. One, two. And now we're going to be placing these going down on the left. One, two, three, one. And one, two, three, two. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. And it should be making contact with the ground. I know I went a little too fast for, uh, on that little ending part, so I'll fly back a bit so you can see. Let's just show you the entire thing of what we've done so far. And of course, you can go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. You don't want to make any mistakes. Okay, so now we're going to head back up here, going all the way up to the right. Starting from this block here, starting from the left block of the five linked blocks that we had, we're going to be placing nine blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a total of nine. Let's fly over, get rid of the placement block. And let's fly back. And from here, we're going to quickly switch over to the gray wool and just place one gray wool on the left side of the nine. So that's one. And then we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. And get rid of that placement. And now we're going to be switching back over to the black wool. Let's head back over here to the right side of the nine black wools. So starting underneath the right side side so starting from this block underneath it we're going to be placing two blocks going down so that's one two and now we're going to be placing two blocks diagonal down to the left that's one and two and now that we have that we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left that's one two And now place two blocks diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Get rid of those placement blocks. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. And now we're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. Let's get rid of the placements. Let's head back down here. And we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. 
Now we're going to switch over to the cyan stained clay. And place one clay underneath this black wool, so that's one. And now we're going to be placing two, not two, we're going to be placing five, five sets of twos. I'm trying to get the word out, or the number I should say. Five sets of twos going down on the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, and one, two, five. So that's five sets of twos. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. Let's head back down here. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. So three down on the left. That's one, two, three. And to close this off, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, not fourth. <laughs> three, what am I talking? Oh my god. Long day, long day. Okay, that's my mistake. <laughs> I missed, I just mistook this as a four. No, it's two sets of three, so you're fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's two, three. So we have the first three, and then we have the first three. I don't know why I misjudged that. Okay, so I'll fly back. Everything is fine. Don't worry, guys. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see the clays. All right, so you can make sure that it looks exactly like this. Just to do a little recap, we had one clay, then we had five sets of twos, and then I should have instructed you as two sets of threes. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three. So everything is fine. Don't worry about it. I'm doing everything correctly. It's just my little hiccup. All right, so we're going to be switching now back to the black wool. And we're going to head back up here, going back to the cyan clay. So going back to this block here, you'll see why I accidentally said the number four instead of three. You'll see why in a sec. All right, starting underneath this cyan clay, we're going to be placing two blocks going down. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three sets of threes going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And one, two, three, three. Let's get rid of that placement. Let's head back down here, and this is why I said four. Now we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's get rid of that placement block. And now to close this all off, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I thought this outline I was making this outline here, which is why I said four instead of three. Got confused there for a second. Thought we were done. Okay, now let's see. Let's switch back over to the cyan clay, and we're just going to be filling in these three empty spaces between the clay and the black wool. Let's fill those in with the cyan clay. And there we go. It's nice filled in. And let's see what we're going to be doing next, because these large areas here, I'm not I'm not ignoring it. I'm just coming back to it later on, so we can just do all of that in a time lapse, in a single time lapse. We don't want to stop and do time lapsing just yet. Um, yeah, let's switch over to the gray wool. Let's take this by layers, and we'll do hopefully time lapse that isn't too confusing for you to follow. Uh, let's head back up here to the nine black wools that we had going across to the left. We're gonna start all the way. Well, technically, it's got, this was uh, the right block, but now this is the right block. The furthest right block of the nine black walls. We're going to start underneath it, so starting from there, we're going to be placing five blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of those. Head back over here, and we're going to be placing 17 blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's 17. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's 17 blocks. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks, and again, if you need to double check, all you really have to do is just count the placement blocks that you get rid of when it comes to these type of blocks being placed. So 
we placed 17 grays, so you should be able to get rid and get rid of the 17 placement blocks. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blah blah blah. Okay, let's head back down here. And we're gonna be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now what we're going to be doing next is placing seven sets of twos going down on the left. That's seven sets of twos. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven. And now let's get rid of the placements. And let's head back down here to close this area by placing one block going down to the left. And that's one. In contact with the ground. Now that we have that, we're going to... Let's see, we're going to fly all the way back up here. Da, 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 da. I guess I should uh, outline... Huh. No, I'll save that outline for later. Uh, we're going to head back up here, and we're going to switch over to do, 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 the Cyan Stained Clay. Let's head over here to the two uh, black walls that we have here. Or not two, two gray walls that we have here going across. Starting from the left block of these two, so starting from here with the clay, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. Now place one block underneath the left block of this one. And now from this one block, we're blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. So it should look like this so far. Very weird kind of L that fell. It's, or it's kind of upside down, really. Okay, so now starting from the left block of these two here. So from this block, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now let's get rid of those placements. Let's head back down here. And now five blocks. Block underneath the cyan clay, so that's one light gray wool. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. Next, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Okay, here comes the slightly kind of confusing thing that will be probably. A little bit confusing for new people, but for the people that have been subscribed for a while, this they should be able to get it. What we're going to be doing next is placing a linked set of three, uh, or excuse me, a linked set of six sets of twos going down on the left. This is why I avoid linked blocks and linked sets because there's just I don't know. I feel like it, it can confuse people easily. So I'll repeat that again. That's a linked set of six sets of threes not twos threes that's my bad so linked set of six sets of threes so it should look like this don't worry about it. if you don't understand i'll pause the you, know, you should pause the video after i show you the entire thing so that's one two three that's the first linked set one two three that's the second one two three that's the third one two three that's the fourth one two three that's the fifth one two three and that's the sixth so that's a linked set of six sets of three.
hard to understand that. And if it, for whatever reason it is, it is too a little um, too hard for you to understand, you can go ahead and pause the video now. You can go ahead and compare. Make sure it looks exactly like this. Just copy what you see right now on the screen. Okay. All right. So that's why that's a, that's some of the reasons why I don't like using the term, even though I came up with it. I just don't really want to use it because I don't want to confuse any people that might have a hard time following it. Uh, let's see what we're we gonna do. The black hole, right? Yeah. Okay. I was switching back over to the black hole. I was wondering why did you take the black hole? All right. Let's fly all the way back up here. By the way, should have made contact with the ground, obviously. Uh, we're gonna head all the way back up here, back to this upside down L shape that we had with the cyan clay where we started from up here. We're going to start on the left side of these two clays here, so starting from there, we're going to be placing three black holes going across to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of those. And now we're going to be placing three blocks diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, and three. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Now place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Once we've done that, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now place two sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Once you've done that, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now we're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the left. Three twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of those placements. Let's fly back down here, and we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And now place two sets of twos going down on the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of the placement blocks, and of course it should have been making contact with the around the two sets of twos after you're done placing them. I'll fly back a bit so you can see the entire outline of what we've done so far with the black wool. And you can go ahead and pause the video now if you have to, just to compare. Because what we're going to be doing next is going to be time-lapsed. In other words, we're going to be filling in these large empty spaces here with the certain blocks, certain block types. So we're going to start from, let's say, should we start from right to left to make it... Mm, why not, I guess? Yeah, why not? Let's start from the left side going to the right. All right, since we're here, we're going to be switching over to the cyan stain clay. So have that block first. Keep this in your inventory like this in order so you don't forget. So we're going to have the cyan stain clay. Then we're going to have the black wool. Then we're going to have the gray wool. And let's just move the light gray wool because we're not going to need it for this part. So I'll show you in order because we're, we are going to be switching between blocks. This is going to be fast forwarded. This is going to be time lapse. So just keep that in mind because I don't think I've done the time lapse yet in this tutorial first uh, Darth Vader so in other words I'm gonna fast forward to this because you don't need to see me eight minutes ten minutes in silence filling this area in it's just gonna be fast forward but I'm going to be explaining what you're going to be filling in alright that's a mouthful first we're gonna start off with the cyan 
clay. Now with the cyan clay, you're going to be filling in this single empty space here, staying within the outline, not crossing over it. You're going to be filling in this empty space with the cyan stained clay. Well, now once you've filled in this large empty space, you're going to switch over to the black wool. You're going to move over to the right. And the next empty space here to the right, you're going to be filling in this single empty space, staying within the outline. You're going to be filling this in with the black wool. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wool, and you're going to be filling in this large empty space here again, staying within the outline. We never go out the outline, so you're going to be filling in this large empty space with the gray wool. Then once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the black wool, moving on to the next area. You're going to be filling in this empty space here with the black wool. And once you've filled that in with the black wool, you're going to switch over to the cyan stained clay. We're going to move over again to the right, and we're going to be filling in this large empty space here with the cyan stained clay that goes all the way up there. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wool, and you're going to be filling in this large empty space here with the gray wool. So go ahead and do that now just to give you a quick recap. Starting from left to right, it's going to be cyan clay black wool then it's going to be gray wool then it's going to be black wool then it's going to be cyan clay then it's going to be gray wool and of course you can always pause the video after i'm done with the time lapse so go ahead and fill all those areas in now And when you're done filling it in it should look like this we got a good portion of darth vader filled in Got it done and whatnot. Don't worry, this isn't going to take several parts at all. It's just a very large pixel art, and it's just with subtle little detailing outlines here and there that give it the illusion that this is a very large and very... Well, it is large by default, but it gives it the illusion that it is very detailed. But don't worry, this isn't going to take a lot of parts at all. If anything, that was already a good chunk, and we've only done that in one part. The next part is going to be most likely probably getting his mouthpiece and some of the other detailing here. And it'll probably end up taking us maybe three more parts at maximum, probably three more parts. It's not a lot, believe me, guys. It's not compared to the other pixel arts that were up to like part eight and nine and whatnot. So don't worry, it's going to be done quickly. So again, guys, make sure to stay tuned in for the next part. And also, be on the lookout for a new Pawu video that should be uploaded right after this, almost immediately after this uh, video gets uploaded. The new Pawu video, finally. So you can go ahead and leave your Minecraft pixel art requests in that video because that's where I check all the requests in the Pawu videos. So with all that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.